Good evening again, everyone, from the Carl York Center in Proctorville, Ohio, and Fairland High School, where tonight we'll bring you a boys' high school basketball game which features two undefeated teams. First, the visiting Fort Fry Cadets from Beverly, Ohio, come in with a record of 3-0 and under the direction of Eric Henniger, and the Fairland Dragons and their head coach, Nathan Speed, and they're undefeated at 3-0. and So... Looks to be an outstanding ball game. I'm Jack Harris along with my cohort, Dave Carroll, and it looks like we're going to have a dandy tonight, Coach. Uh, I believe we are, and, Coach, if you remember, this is the same team that put us out of the football playoffs, so we'll see if there's any payback tonight. I've heard they're a really good team, and this is probably going to be a really good game. So. I think it'll be Fairland's toughest uh, matchup yet to, to date. Uh, I haven't seen this team. I think this is the first time they've ever played. But uh, they do have uh, quite an athletic bunch. Uh, watch their football team. they are uh, got, got a good run of athletes, yes, just like the Dragons do. That's right. Well, at this time, uh, we're going to stop and uh, enjoy the national anthem. And uh, Miss Kia Booth, a cheerleader from Fairland, will sing the national anthem. And you'll want to hear this. She does a great job. Hat. Good evening. Welcome to tonight's varsity boys matchup between the visiting Fort Pride Cadets and your Fairland Dragons. This time, please stand and remove your hats to sing the national anthem. Nice hand on these thumbs up. It's Kia Food. Kia Booth, and uh, while we're waiting for the, we'll we'll give you the starters for Fort Fry. Starting at guard is 6'2 senior number one Nick Hart. At the other guard, a 6'1 sophomore Owen Brown. At the other guard, a 6'1 senior Luke Huffman. And at the other number four, number five, a forward, a 5'11 uh, junior Braden Medley. And at the other guard, a 6'1 senior, Kelton Fogel, number 22. Now for the homestanding Dragons. At guard, number one, a six foot junior, Aiden Porter. Number two, Gavin Hunt, a 6'1 senior guard. Number, number 32. A 5'9 senior guard, Clayton Thomas. A forward, 6'4 senior, Jordan Williams, number five. And the other forward is a 6'5 senior, number zero, Jacob Polson, 6'5 senior. Uh, 
Looks like it's going to be a dandy, Coach. Well, they look very athletic in warm-ups. Uh, well, they've got a four-guard lineup, four guards, and they don't have a senior, or I mean a center listed on their roster. So that tells me they're athletic and they get up and down the floor. I'd say we're going to see some transition basketball tonight. I don't recognize any of these officials either tonight. I don't know if you do, but I don't think I've seen any uh, of the three. No, they're all too young for us. <laughs> <laughs> And that tip is out to Clayton Thomas. He brings it across the timeline for the Dragons. To the right wing, to Hunt. Hunt to Porter. Porter back out top to Jordan. Williams swings around the left wing to Thomas. Back up top to Porter. Back up top to Williams. Williams to Hunt. Hunt looking inside to Polson. Got a size advantage. Takes it up and puts it in. And the Dragons have a quick lead, two to nothing. Uh, that's a good start for Mr. Polson's night. Yep. Number one, Nick Hart dribbling on the right corner. He takes it up and loses it. Porter comes down with it, racing down the floor to the left wing to Clayton Thomas. He puts up a three and it's off. And Jordan Williams grabs the offensive board, pushes it back outside to Aiden Porter. And now they'll set up the offense. Williams between the circles to the right wing to Hunt. Hunt to Porter, Porter down inside to Polson. He looks, turns, fires, misses. Williams pulls another offensive rebound down and he goes baseline but steps on the line and it's gonna be cadet basketball. Fogel inbounds to Hart, Hart back to Fogel. Fogel to Hart. Hart up to Brown. Brown over to Medley. Fogel puts up a shot and misses. Dragons pull it down. Porter comes down, launches a three, and it's off the right side of the rim. Brought down by Nick Hart. Hart goes deep. And the ball's lost in there again and brought down by Polson. Polson brings it across the timeline. Over to Thomas. He lets the 25-footer go. Nothing but money. Five nothing. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. The Dragons lead. Hart brings it across the line. Over to Medley. Medley in the corner. To Fogel, Fogel back up top to Huffman, Huffman inside to Fogel. He launches a shot and it's off the rim. Polson comes down, puts one off the glass and it's no good. Huffman comes out with it, goes baseline, puts it up, no good. The follow in there is good by Hart, Nick Hart. Clayton Thomas. Rubbing at high post. Gets it over to Williams. Williams back out to the right corner to Porter. Porter, Polson. Polson, Williams. Williams hands off to Porter. Porter throws it at the high post to Polson. Porter gets it back. Now Williams back to Porter. Down Williams on the baseline. Back up top. Clayton Thomas, they left him open. He launches a three and it's no good. Williams comes down with his third offensive rebound. Clayton Thomas puts up a shot off the front of the rim. Nick Hart comes down with it. Over to Brown. Brown to Fogel. He launches a three, it's no good. But coming out of there with the rebound is number five, Medley. And this time, Fogel puts it up and finds the bottom of the net. And we've got a tie game with 4.15 to go on a running clock. Dragons five, Cadets five. Williams back out top to Porter. Porter to Polson. Looking for a cutter. Finds Polson. He takes it up strong and puts it in. Fogel brings it down. 
Dribbling, working on Polson. Takes to the hole and lays it up and in. Quickly, the Dragons down court. Clayton Thomas launches one from the right wing and it's off the back of the rim. Medley comes down with it. Gives the ball to Hart. Hart to Lippitt. Lippitt gets the ball down inside, turns the baseline, can't find anything. Over to Medley. Medley back to Lippitt, hits the cutter. Hart, and Hart lays it up and in. And the cadets take the lead for the first time tonight. Williams working on Hart. Hart over to Hunt. Hunt back to Clayton Thomas. Thomas at the top of the key. Goes in the left wing to Hunt. He drives the baseline, takes it up. It's an air ball. Pulling it down at Braden Medley. Over to Hart, and he hits Lippitt. Excuse me, Owen Brown. I'm sorry. Owen Brown got that pass and laid it in. Pretty impressive right there, Coach. Pretty impressive. Athletic. Very athletic. Uh, I think, too, we need to be more patient on offense. I think we're coming down rushing some shots. So far, maybe a little tight. Yeah, we're looking for that three ball. And uh, we got a little bit of size advantage with uh, Polson and Williams. Uh, I think I might try to pound it inside a little bit. Two thirty-seven to go in the first quarter. It's Cadets eleven, Dragons seven. Porter inbounds to Williams. Williams brings it down. He crosses the timeline, hands off to Porter. Porter to Polson between the circles. And a little back cut to Porter. He tries to lay it up, but he's hacked on the arm in there by number two, sophomore Owen Brown. So Porter's going to go to the line and shoot two shots. First one's up and off the front of the rim. We In the sure lineup some, now uh, is Garrett Lippitt. We could sure use some Aiden Porter offense right now. Yeah. Yes. He checks in for Owen Brown. And that one's off the front of the rim. And that's off number 24. That must be Huck. They don't have a. Farrell inbounds the ball to Williams. He drives to the left. Hands off to Clayton Thomas, and he misses everything. Bringing the ball down is Nick Hart. He drives, takes a shot. Well defended in there by Porter. 22. Hit. Kelton Fogel takes a baseline, lays it up with a beautiful left hand. Thomas on the right wing. Hands off to Porter. Looking for some direction from Coach Speed. Checking in the lineup for the Dragons. Number 22, Nate Thacker. He checks in for Gavin Hunt. Williams over to Porter on the left wing, throws it to the right corner, and it's picked off by number 30, Dawson Layton, who's checked in for the cadets. He throws it over to number 24, Zayton Huck, and he drains the three, and the Dragons are down 16 to seven with a minute left in the first quarter. Porter to the right wing, back up top to Polson. Polson to Porter, Porter down to Thomas. Clayton Thomas dribbles left, throws it inside to Polson. Polson cross court to Thacker and he air balls it. Three. Hart comes down with it again. 
tries to get off a shot. And it's rebounded in there by number 22, Kelton Fogel. He puts up a shot and he's fouled. That foul was on Jordan Williams, his first. Each team now with just one team foul. And at the line is Kelton Fogel. Lefty puts it up and knocks it down. The Dragons are down double digits, 17 to seven with 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. And checking back into the lineup for the cadets is number five, Braden Medley. Fogel puts it up and drains it. 18 to seven, 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Porter tries to get it to Williams. It's knocked away, but Porter recovers. And now it looks like they're gonna play for the last shot. I don't know, Xander Schmidt checks in for the Dragons. He throws a pass over to Nate Thacker and he fumbles it out of bounds. I think we just he was look, looking to shoot that one before we're he We're looking it. out of sync tonight. We just don't, just not clicking. Gavin Hunt checks back in for Thacker. Number four, Huffman inbounds to Hart. Hart brings across the timeline, going strong down the lane, puts up the shot. It's off the back of the rim, and Jordan Williams brings it down. He looks for Polson. Polson lets a three fly, and it's off the front of the rim. So after one quarter of play, the cadets come out and looking pretty sharp, and they take an 11-point lead, 18-7. to seven. Coach, we've only had two uh, players score, and that's Jacob Polson and Clayton Thomas. We were shut out there the last about four wow. minutes. I don't think we scored a basket. That's hard to believe. Porter hasn't entered the scoreboard yet. We got a Carl Center or Carl York Center record last time out for 38, and uh, he really hasn't even got off too many shots. Maybe that's, a couple. Well, I will tell you what, uh, the kid they got playing defense on him has stuck to him like glue. Done an excellent job. Yeah, I like the Hart kid. He's a long, lanky guard that handles it real well. Rebounds. He's probably got three or four rebounds already. Well, I'll tell you what. He's got six points first quarter, and uh, Kelton Fogel, he's got nine points this first quarter. Wow. As you said at the beginning of the broadcast, though, they are athletic. I yes. mean, they are really athletic. They don't have real tall players at all. I think they're... It says here they got a kid six foot ten, but I don't see him. <laughs> All right, cadets inbound the ball. Hart goes hard. He misses a shot. Rebounded in there by Porter. And we got a foul on Nick Hart. That's his first foul and the team's second. Porter inbound underneath the basket to Schmidt. Xander Schmidt brings the ball across the timeline. Over to Porter. Over on the left wing to Polson. Polson into the high post, Williams. Now Polson, posting up and uh, can't do anything with it. Hunt. In the right corner, looking, brings it back out to Porter. Porter. Porter dribbling on the le left corner, takes to the elbow, puts it up and in. And Porter's on the scoreboard. The Dragons cut the lead to nine, 18 to nine, Port Fry. Over on the right wing, number two, Owen Brown to Fogel. Fogel to Medley. Picked up by Luke Huffman, half court. Looks inside to Huffman. Huffman puts it up. And Polson pulls down the rebound. Gets it out to Porter. Porter across the timeline. Pulls up for three. And it's off the back of the rim. Fogel brings it down. Lefty puts it in the corner. 
to Owen Brown. He puts up the shot, it's no good. And Williams comes out of there with it. And he's headed across the line, taking it coast to coast and puts up the shot, but he's fouled. He's fouled in there by Nick Hart. That's his second. He picked up two real quick. And he's going to send Jordan Williams to the line to shoot a pair. Williams' first shot's up, around the rim and out. 0 for 3 on foul shots tonight, Coach. Wow. Can't be a good team shooting free throws like that. This is obviously a good team. I'm very impressed. This is a this is a ho horse race up and down this. And the second one hits the back of the rim and deadens and falls into the net. And scores 18 to 10. Checking in for Williams is Clayton Thomas. Fogle inbounds to Brown. It's picked off by Hunt, and he lays it up and in. Ah, Dragons are going to their full court pressure now. That's broken this time by Fogel. He puts it down inside to Medley. Medley misses a shot. Brought down by Clayton Thomas. Thomas over to Porter. Porter on the left wing to the top. Polson, Polson over to Schmidt. Xander Schmidt lets one fly. And now we got a ball game. That's a three-pointer by Xander Schmidt. Cuts the lead down to three. 18 to 15. 5.35 to go on a running clock. Cadets break the pressure. The ball is put up there by Luke Huffman. A long three, and it's off. But they Fogel's got the ball out the top. To Brown. Brown to Fogel. Fogel takes it inside to Medley. Medley misses the layup and Porter comes out of there with it. Racing across the timeline. Takes the Euro step and drains it. And the Dragons have cut the lead to one, 18 to 17. <coughs> Excuse me. We got some. Coach, you've outscored them 10 to nothing this quarter. The Dragons were down double digits at the end of the first quarter, and they have cut the lead to one, 18 to 17, with transition. Well, I'll tell you what, we came into the press, and I watched them break that press twice, and they had both times they had three on one and didn't score. A lot of times the press is designed to make you take quick shots. And sometimes those quick shots, well, you're going to end up getting some transition buckets, and that's exactly what's happening right now. It's two teams that like to get up and down the court, and uh, we're, we're, we're seeing a ball game now. All right, Cadets will inbound the ball underneath the Dragons' basket. Fogel gets it into Brown. Brown over to Huffman. Huffman to Fogel. Fogel's looking. Back to Huffman. Huffman drops it off to Fogel. He takes it in, lays it up. Porter brings it down, throws it inside to Xander Smith, just a little wide and couldn't handle it. It'll be the Cadets basketball. Fairland's in there, full court press. Unforced air, turnover. We can't have those if we're going to win this ball game tonight. Fogel. Looking, he's looking, and he has to call a timeout. I think the count was at about four. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. Tell you, Coach, I'd sure rather, I'd sure rather watch a game like this than just a blowout. Oh, yeah. This is so much more exciting. We've got uh, two groups of uh, pretty good athletes getting up and down the floor. A lot of fun to watch this kind of ball. Fogel's going to inbound for the cadets. He inbounds to Medley. Medley is fouled on the sideline by Schmidt. 
And it'll be the Cadets ball on the sideline. Fogle inbounds it to Huffman. Huffman dribbles up the right side across the timeline, picks it up. He's double teamed. He gets it to Medley. Medley to Fogle. Fogle blows the layup. But on the rebound is number 30, Dawson Layton. He lays it up and in. Dragons, Clayton Thomas, dribble between the circles to Hunt. Hunter Schmidt. Xander Schmidt over to Thomas. Thomas backdoor cut to Porter. He lays it up and in. Nice cut there by Porter. Polson. Oh, the Farrell bench is irate. They thought that Porter got fouled on that three because it it didn't hit anything. I mean, you know, it hit the bottom of the backboard. It looked like a foul, but. Coach, that was right in front of us, and I do believe he got him. Yeah. And then they called the foul on. Jacob Polson. Jacob which, Polson. And that's his first. And uh, it's three team fouls apiece. Brown inbounds to Fogle. Fogle to Layton. Layton back to Fogle. Now they're running an open offense. Layton down the corner to Brown. Brown back up top to Fogle. Very, this is the old uh, open offense made famous by Coach Norm Pearson. <laughs> Fogel takes a baseline. He goes up and he's fouled. And that's going to be Nate Polson's second foul. 3.08 to go in the second quarter. And Cadets up 22-19 and going to the line to shoot a pair. Number 22, Kelton Fogel. The lefty puts it up and it's off the back of the rim. Checking back in for the Dragons, number five, Jordan Williams. He checks in for Polson. Fogle puts it up and drops this one in. 23-19, 3.08 to go. Checking back in for the Cadets, number 24, Zayden Huck. Thomas slits a long one fly, and it's off the back. Cadets ball, inbound. Fairland applying pressure. Gets the ball to Garrett Lippett. Lippett double teamed over there on the sideline. And he's tied up in there by Jordan Williams. And that's going to give the ball back to Fairland. Kelton Fogel checks back in for number 30, Dawson Layton. Clayton Thomas brings the ball across the timeline. Down on the baseline to Porter. He goes hard baseline, and he's blocking foul called on number two, Owen Brown. And that's going to be team foul number four. So that's going to bring Dawson Layton back off the bench, and he's going to check in for Owen Brown. Clayton Thomas inbounds underneath the basket. Inbounds to Porter. Porter in the left corner. Dribbles back out, and he stepped on the sideline, and that's going to give the ball back to Fort Fry. Fogel inbounds, cross the half-court line to Layton. Layton lays it up, and it's off the, the glass and out of bounds to the Dragons. Tough 
Thomas inbounds. Gets it back from Williams. He brings it across the timeline. Cross court to Hunt. Hunt in the corner to Porter. Porter cut to Xander Schmidt. And he lays it up and... He missed the layup and uh, Jordan Williams commits the foul. That's his second foul. And that's going to bring Nate Thacker off the bench for the Dragons. He checks in for Jordan Williams. Uh, coach, both coach of our big big kids both have two fouls apiece. Yep. Ford Fry rips it around. Fogel to Lippett. Lippett. Number 24, I'm not sure that is Zayden Huck. I don't have a name for a number 24, so I'll find out here at halftime just who number 24 is. But he's got the ball on the right wing, brings it to the top to Layton. Dawson Layton. Layton, Kelton Fogle, he lets a three go and he drains it. And Ford Fry has extended their lead back out to seven points, 26-19. Hunt picks the ball up, finds Stacker in the post, brings it to Clayton Thomas, tries the backdoor pass to Porter. And Porter just stays with it and blows the layup. Oh, those are, we got to have those. Fogel brings it up, gets it across to Lippett. Lippett double teamed in there. And he took too many steps. And it's going to be dragon ball. Nate Thacker inbounds. To Clayton Thomas. Clayton brings it across timeline. Hands off. Shoots it cross court. Thacker takes it inside. Ooh. And he fouled on the layup. But the shot doesn't go. So he's going to shoot two at the foul. Uh, the foul was on Braden Medley, his first team foul number five. And at the line for the Dragons, Nate Thacker. First one is up and good. Thacker second shot up, just long, and it's off the rim, and he goes over the back, and that's going to be a foul on Nate Thacker. Good box out in there by Dawson Layton there. So if we have another foul coach on the Dragons, Fort Fry will be in the bonus. Fogle inbounds all the way to half court to Layton. Layton back to Fogle. Fogle dribbling out of trouble. Send it over to Luke Huffman. Huffman down in the corner to Medley. Medley back to Fogel. Fogel back to Medley in the left corner. Looks to Huffman. 30 seconds to go on a running clock. Over to Layton. Layton to Medley. He takes it down the floor and he charges and taking the charge for the Dragons. Uh, number two, Gavin Hunt. He's getting up a little bit gimpy. That big boy just ran over him. <laughs> Stout. <laughs> he, must, he must be a running back. He's a healthy young man. <laughs> Gavin Hunt's in obvious pain. He sets a pick for Thomas. Thomas back up Porter. Porter loses it. And Xander Schmidt picks it up in the left corner. Porter lets it fly. And it's off the front of the rim. Great box out. And number number 30, Dawson Layton. And that's going to be the end of the first half. And the Fort Fry Cadets are up 26 to 20 over the Fairland Dragons. We're going to take a break right now. Oh, 
Okay, we're back here live at the Carl York Center and uh, with about four minutes to go to the second half starts. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Dave Carroll and let him give you some stats. Before we do that, though, I've got a couple of corrections I want to make. Number 24 is Casey Booker. It's not Zayden Huck. Casey Booker evidently was 44, but he lost his jersey and he's wearing 24. Also, the 6'10 uh, senior, Brian Atkins, they have listed as a guard, a 6'10 guard. That's a he, big guard. <laughs> he, they do have him, but he's not here tonight. He is in Dallas, Texas, playing in a football game. So he must be quite an athletic young man. So uh, with that being said, I want to apologize to Casey Booker, and, and we've got those things corrected now. So here with the halftime stats is Dave Carroll. All right, folks, looks like Nick Hart uh, has six points for them. All his six came in the first quarter. Uh, Kelton Fogle is their leading scorer. He's got 13. Uh, had a great first quarter and actually pretty good second quarter. Um, Zayden Huck, he scored one point. Uh, Dawson Layton scored two points. And uh, Casey Booker scored three, and that gives them – a total of 26 for the half. Uh, Dragons, Jacob Polson had four all in the first quarter. Uh, Aiden Porter had six all in the second quarter. Gavin Hunt had two in the second quarter. Clayton Thomas scored one buckets, three-pointer in the first quarter. Uh, Jordan Waves one for two at the line. He's got one point. Xander Schmidt hit a three in the second. And Nate Thacker was one for two from the line in the second. And that gives the Dragon a total of 20. Well, I tell you, man, they should have a lot more. I've seen a lot of missed layups, really, out of both teams. Uh, well, again, what you and I talked about it earlier today, and these these kids are athletic. And, I mean, they, you can tell they're well coached. Uh, they're not making very, mental, very many mental mistakes. The, the thing I like on the press, you break the press by getting the ball to the middle, and they have gotten that ball repeatedly to the middle. They've had some chances for some fast breaks. They just haven't. Right, and they haven't been content just to break it. They have been attacking the basket. That's right. So, you know, I've always told my kids, just, you know, just don't get it past half court. Let's attack. You know, you got people behind you. You might as well take advantage when you've got it. As I said, there was two times I know that they had three-on-one breaks and didn't score off those. So Dragons got back and, and put a stop to that a couple times. <laughs> okay, shout-out time. <laughs> I got a shout out to my two daughters, my two favorite girls basketball coaches, Ashley Whitley and Holly Donahue. I took another one on the chin today, but they uh, well, kids they, are getting better. Hey, well, they had terrible officiating. <laughs> <laughs> we won't mention any names. <laughs> okay. My dogs are barking after doing seven games, I'm telling you. Oh, I bet. I don't know how you do it. Right. Uh, I got to get my exercise somehow, Coach. Might as well be out doing something I enjoy. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I enjoy the, all, every one of those girls in that league. I enjoy watching those. And, you know, Coach Buchanan and all those guys that run that league, uh, it, it, it really is a good thing. Oh, without a doubt. That's, that's the way you build a program, and that's why they've been so successful. Uh, and we need to give a shout-out to Carrie Hankel. She's my calling partner, and uh, she has been quarantined with COVID, so we – Kinda had to mix match our officials today. Well, we're we'll blaming on them. That's you, right. You had good games. Oh, that's right. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> and and Coach Alton, Coach Butte. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you, I'll give a shout out to Khalil. He was on me today. He asked me if we were going to do the game tonight, and I said absolutely. So we now you you got to talk about me. So Khalil, <laughs> here is your one shout out you're probably yeah. ever going to get. Yeah. Here it is. Enjoy yeah. it. Your team is stacked. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay, we got about 10 seconds to go here to start in the second half. Uh, Fort Fry Cadets come in undefeated, 3-0, under Coach Eric Henniger. And uh, I can see why they're 3-0. They're very well coached, very athletic, like we said. And uh, Dragons got their hands full. Hey. This is by far the best team I have seen all year, and I, I don't know. Will we see anybody as good Dragons playing know, these the guys? I don't know, but the thing about it is these guys being in the same division in football, I would think they're in the same division in basketball, so they may see each other down the road later. 
Well, that would be another interesting game, I'm sure. Let's see, let's see what they got going on here. This There's second half. There's my old half. buddy Heath Smith. Got to give him a shout out. <laughs> okay, it's going to be Fort Frog ball. They inbound at half court to Owen Brown. Owen Brown over to Fogel. Fogel dribbles between the lines, and he's fouled in there by. Gavin, oh no, they've called an offensive foul. Oh, it was a legal screen set by Mr. Medley. Yes, Braden Medley. And I he, just wonder if he plays guard on the football team. I don't, he looks either the guard or fullback. <laughs> All right, checking in for him is number 24, Casey Booker. The Dragons inbound, Williams, Williams over to Hunt. Hunt looking. He's got Poston at the top of the key. He lets a three fly, and it's off the back of the rim and over the basket, and it'll be Fort Fry ball. Coach, I do not know what our shooting percentage is tonight, but it is not very good at all. No. <laughs> Fogel brings it up, throws it to the right to Brown. Brown back to Fogel, down the lane, up and off the rim. Hunt comes down with the rebound, throws it over to Porter. Porter out to Clayton Thomas, and he gives it back to Porter. And out of the right corner, Porter drains a three, and that cuts the lead to three. Brown with the ball at the top to Fogel. Fogel, and he's picked clean in there by Nate Polson, or excuse me, Jacob Polson. Porter back to Polson, to Clayton Thomas across court, and it's short and off the front of the rim. And they're off and running. Fogel picks it up, throws it down baseline to Huffman. Huffman out the top to Brown. Brown lets one fly, and Jordan Williams comes down with it. And he throws a lob pass to Jacob Polson, who catches and lays it up and off the glass for two, and now we've got a one-point game. Quickly down the floor is the cadets in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman back, lets it fly and drains a three. Clayton Thomas dribbling in the left corner. Tries to go baseline. He loses it out of bounds. And it'll be Fort Fry basketball. It's a score, 29-25 with 6.10 to go in the third quarter. Nick Hart brings it across the line, over to Huffman. Huffman to Brown, Brown to Fogel. Fogel down the corner to Hart. Hart delivers the pass to, to Luke Huffman. He lays it up and in. Nice cut by Huffman. But Aiden Porter brings it back down off the left. And it's stolen in there again. And Porter goes up and Misses the layup. Nick Hart brings it down. Throws it to the left side to Booker. Booker to Huffman. Huffman back out top to Hart. Hart now dribbling between the circles. Fakes right, goes left, puts it up, and in. Tough shot. Porter brings it down the left side. Looks for a pick from Polson. Polson back, uh, uh, Porter to Hup. Oh. Jordan Williams trying to get the ball down inside to Polson, and he throws it too high to handle. I watched them here, here Coach. Th these guys play great help defense. I mean, they're playing great. They're stopping splits. I mean, they're doing a great job. Fairland's going to have to spread yeah. the floor and Huffman work the Booker. ball. Booker over to Fogel. Fogel back out top to Hart. Hart. To Brown. Brown throws it down inside to Hart. And it's stolen. His pass is stolen by Williams. He's going hard. Drops it off to Clayton Thomas. Clayton Thomas gets it back from Polson. Let's the three fly. And saved in there by Clayton Thomas. Back to Porter. Bounce pass down inside. Is picked off by Fogel. They're out and running. And the layup is by Brown who gets the assist from Fogel. And the lead is back up to eight. 
Did we mention transition game a while ago? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's – I can't keep up with it. <laughs> They're quick. You want you want to do some play-by-play? -play? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I'll sit right here with my little clipboard and try to keep stats. Okay. Well, no, I'll tell as you, as fast as this game's hey, going, that's a full-time job. Hey, they're moving up and down. And the thing is, Coach, it's not out of control basketball. This is just up and down good basketball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of times you get these teams running and things get sloppy. That's not been the case here at all. No, we missed some shots, you know, both teams. But both teams are really, it's... I don't think the Dragons have shot it like they usually do. You know, Clayton Thomas is off a little bit tonight. Uh, Nate Thacker's been off a little bit. Uh, they've got 10 points out of him the last two games each. So uh, this team, uh, they know how to put it in the basket. When we return to the action, it's going to be the Dragons basketball. Porter's going to inbound. He brings it in to Williams. Williams gives it back to Porter. Porter walks it up. Across the timeline, between the circles, to the right wing to Clayton Thomas. He goes down inside to Polson. Polson has to kick it back out. Now top to Jordan Williams. He takes it. Puts up the shot and he's fouled. That foul's on Casey Booker. I believe that's his first. And Jordan Williams is going to go to the line and shoot two. By the way, Coach, I don't think I mentioned this, but I think we had the same exact number of fouls they did in that first half. That's a pretty even game. Yep. It's been well called, I think. Williams puts the first shot up and it's good. 35 28. Next shot up and good. That cuts the lead down to six with 3.45 to go on a running clock. And Nick Hart brings the ball up the floor over to Brown. Hart's on the left wing, dribbling, goes baseline. Back out to Brown. Brown to Booker. Booker to Fogel. Fogel to Hart. Hart lets a three fly and nothing but the bottom of the net. That kid is really athletic. Really good player. Polson brings the ball up. Hands it off to Porter. A little two-man game between Porter and Polson. And Gavin Hunt lets one fly from the left corner and he drains it. Cuts the lead back down to six. Dawson Layton on the baseline. Tries to cross court pass and it's picked off by Porter. He takes it strong to the hole and lays it up and in. And the lead's down to four, 38-34, 2.35 to go. And now we've got a, another illegal screen in there. This one committed by Owen Brown. And that's gonna give the ball back to the Dragons with a chance to cut into this lead a little further. And Brown is gonna to go to the bench and checking in for Brown is Luke Huffman. Williams inbounds to Porter. Porter picks the ball up, walks it across the timeline. Down inside to Polson. Polson out to Gavin Hunt and he lets another one fly. And Schmidt tries to rebound and save it, but it goes out. It'll be cadet basketball. Coach, not only they Both. athletic, but they're physical. Oh, yeah. They get up in you. Very well coached team. Nick Hart brings it down. Oh, what a hesitation dribble. Oh, what a move by Nick Hart. A little hesitation. Goes to the left side. Lays it up with his left hand. 
off the glass and in. Porter now going to the basket for the Dragons. He lays it up. It's off. Tip, no good. And it's knocked out of bounds. Oh. And it. I don't know about that one. <laughs> you know. Hey, I'm not going to question him. He was three feet from the play. That's right. We're sitting way down here. <laughs> ah, the Fairland coach is irate about that call. Cadets inbound the ball to Hart. Hart brings it up. Walks it across the timeline. And he's working on Porter. Over to Booker. Booker looking. Back to Fogel. Fogel. Over to Lippett. Lippett to Booker. Booker lets it fly. It's up and off the rim. And Williams comes out though with it. And the Dragons are running. Williams right down the middle. Over to Schmidt. And it's off. Porter. Tips it out to Hunt. Hunt goes down but saves the dribble and brings it back out to Porter. Porter to the top of the key to Williams. Williams goes left, but gives it to Polson. Polson lets a three fly. But Williams rebounds the miss and it's up and in. And 50 seconds to go on a running clock. The Dragons cut it to four, 40-36. 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bringing the ball up is Fogel. Fogel takes it left, goes all the way, lays it up, and he's fouled in there. And that foul is going to be on Jordan Williams. That's his third. And going to the line to shoot a pair, number 22, Kelton Fogel. Had a great game. First shot's up, and off the back of the rim and out. Checking in for the Dragons. It's gonna be Clayton Thomas. Clayton Thomas for Williams. 35 seconds to go, it's a good move. Keep him from getting his fourth. Fogel eyes the second shot, it's up and it's good. 41-36, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Porter brings it across to the high post to Polson, Polson to Thomas. He's left alone, lets the three fly. Nothing but the bottom of the well for Clayton Thomas. Cuts the lead to two, and the Dragons steal it. Oh, look at here. <laughs> oh my. Thought he was going to shoot the three, shot faked, went around him, laid it up, was fouled, and drops in, got the nice bounce. And the Dragons could take the lead here with 5.4 seconds to go I'll, in the I'll third quarter. What, what that, was a a great, that was a great pass from Xander and a great move by Aiden. Great move. Porter. Isaac, it's off the front of the rim. He has not shot free throws very well tonight. Fogel lets a long one go, and it's off the back of the backboard. And so it's six minutes, or excuse me, eight minutes to go in, in the fourth quarter. The Dragons have fought and scraped back to a 41-41 tie. All right, I guess it's going to be Dragon's ball, I think, half court. So we've got eight more minutes of action and a very, very entertaining basketball game. Hey, just what we said, it's going to be a close game. Polson's going to inbound to Porter. Porter's going to walk it across the line. Goes to the high post to Polson. Polson looking. Dribbles right back to Clayton. He lets another one fly. And it's off the back of the rim. And Polson 
Tried to tip it in, but was fouled in there by uh, Braden Medley on the tip. So Poston's going to get to the other line and shoot a pair. And that's four fouls on the uh, Medley. And that's the 15th foul, and the Dragons only committed one. Polson puts the shot up, and it's off the back of the rim. Polson eyes the rim, lets it go, and he drops that one in there. And the Dragons have their first lead since early, early in this game. Brown with the ball on the right corner, back out to Hart. Hart over to Medley, Medley to Brown. Huffman lets one fly from the right wing and uh, he hits nothing but net and it's a three point play for. And Porter comes right back and drives right and lays it up and off the glass and we Got a tie game, 44 all. Seven minutes to go in the game. Fogle brings it across to Hart. Hart spins, lays it up, and it's off the back of the rim. Back to Huffman. His three is off the front of the rim. Gives it back to Porter. And Porter, oh, is called for the charge. And that's... I think that's his first foul. That's two team fouls on the Dragons. It'll be Cadet's ball. Uh, got a little sweat we got to clean up off the floor here. Trainer Mike's doing a fine job over there. <laughs> Okay, we'll give him props. I wonder if he does windows. Can he do windows? Uh, he can come out and do about 20 on my house <laughs> if he'd like to. Okay, bringing the ball in for the cadets. It's Fogel. Fogel to Hart. Hart's going to walk it up. 6.40 to go on a running clock, 44 all. Hart. To Huffman, Huffman to Fogel, Fogel to Brown. Brown back to Fogel. He fakes the three, drives, gives it up to Huffman. Huffman. Off. Excuse me, that's Brown. Brown. Back out top to Hart. Hart, Porter picks him up. Xander Schmidt picks him up. Ooh. Nice block out of bounds there by Aiden Porter. It'll be Cadet's ball underneath their own basket. Inbounds to Owen Brown. He takes it up, misses. Rebounded in there by Medley. Medley back out to Fogel. Fogel drives to the basket, lays it up and in. Nice basket there by Fogel. Clayton Thomas brings it down over to Polson. Polson looking, looking over the corner to Smith. He lets a long one fly, and it's a three-pointer by Xander Schmidt. Nothing but the net, and the Dragons take a one-point lead. Hart loses it, and Clayton Thomas comes up with it. <laughs> he brings it down. Clayton Thomas dribbling out front to Porter. Porter looking to drive. And he's going to pick up his second charge. Nick Hart picks up the charging foul against Porter. And Porter's going to check out of the game. And Jordan Williams checks in for him. I thought that was a good call. He just looked like he was set. I agree. Nick Hart. Gets the ball from Fogel, and Hart walks it up. The Dragons ahead, 47-46, five minutes 
and 10 seconds to go in the game. Hart working against Polson. Polson staying down. Medley back to Hart. Hart back out top to Huffman. Huffman looking. He brings it over to Fogel. Fogel down the corner to Brown. Brown back to Hart. Hart looking. And uh, Hart seems a little frustrated by the defense. Oh. Huffman takes it hard to the basket. It looked like Jordan Wynn picked up the charging foul, but they call a block. And it's going to be two shots for Luke Huffman. Was on the drive. It'll be cadet ball out of bounds. That's a 14 foul on the Dragons. Fogel brings it in to Medley. Medley back to Hart. Hart to Fogel. Fogel goes down the lane. He throws it up and in. And the cadets take the lead. 48-47. 4 15 to go in the game. Clayton Thomas holds the ball on the left wing. Out top to Polson, Polson to Williams. Williams looking for a pick from Polson. Over in the right corner to Hunt. Hunt back out top to Jordan Williams. To Xander Schmidt. Schmidt to Thomas. Thomas looking for a pick. Gets the ball to the left wing to Polson. Polson cross court to Hunt. Dragons being pretty deliberate this time. Clayton Thomas, the corner to Schmidt. Schmidt lets it fly, and it's too long, but coming out of there with it is, is uh, Jordan Williams, and he loses it out of bounds. It'll be Fort Fry basketball. 3.30 to go in the game. Fort Fry up one, 48-47. Fogel inbounds to Huffman. Huffman brings it across the timeline. To the right wing to Brown. Brown up top to Hart. Hart looks over to Fogel. Passes over. Medley on the right wing. Hits the ball to Medley with the rebound. Hunt's got a breakaway. He lays it up and in. And the Dragons take the lead back, 49-48. Aiden Porter's checked back in for Xander Schmidt. Huffman to Medley. Medley to Brown. Brown to Fogel. Fogel cut off in there by Hunt. Huffman looks to drive. He's cut off by Polson. Fogel lets one fly. They didn't box him out. Nice rebound and bounce pass. And it lays bounce pass to Brown. He puts it up and in off the glass. And the lead goes back to the cadets, 50-49. Two minutes to go in this ball game. Porter with the ball out top, dribbles right. Looking for an opening. Gets it back to Clayton Thomas. He lets it fly. And it's off the back of the rim. Nick Hart bringing it down the floor. He gives it to Fogel. Fogel in the corner to Medley. Medley to Hart. Hart to Brown. Brown to Huffman. Huffman looking for Hart, back out top to Brown to Medley. Medley to Fogel. He's picked up there by Gavin Hunt. Off to Brown, he's picked up by Williams. Back to Fogel. Now they're gonna be a little more deliberate with one minute and 10 seconds to go in this game. Fogel takes it in, lays it up and in. And it's a three-point lead now for the cadets. 
Porter brings it up across the timeline. And Nathan Speed's going to call timeout for the Dragons. Good game. Excellent game. I'm just, I'm sitting here just enjoying. If you watch, looks I like think Xander the last Schmidt and uh, Nate Thacker are going to check in. This could be uh, what I used to call code blue time. Yep. Coach, if you've watched the last three possessions, these, these two teams have had been very deliberate. They have run their half-court offense trying to get a good shot. Right. And what I mean by code blue is we're going to foul. Yep. <laughs> but you can't yell out foul. You know, I always thought, why didn't they call a deliberate foul? You know, <laughs> when I called out, I had foul them. I told them, I said, we're not going to call, say foul. We're going to say code blue. <laughs> I always had a mark. I just did this. I made an X with my hands, and I think they knew that's what a to signal do. for intentional. Foul. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay, the Dragons going to inbound half court. One minute and one second to go in the game. Jacob Polson brings it into Porter. Porter standing at the half court line. Goes hard down the lane. Lays it up, and he's fouled. And now they're going to do the. Offense for defense substitutions. Checking back in in the game is going to be Gavin Hunt and Jordan Williams, probably for Schmidt and Thacker. 55.8 left in the game. Porter to the line. Two very important free throws. I don't know if he's made one tonight. It's up. It's good. That's his first make. That's his first make. First make from the foul line. I don't think he missed the other night. I don't think he missed much anything the other night. Uh, they they checked Schmidt in for Clayton Thomas. Going to let get a little bit more quickness in there on defense. Porter's second shot is up and good. And it'll be the cadet's ball out of bounds. They bring it into Huffman. Huffman takes it across the line. Farrell trying to foul. And there it is, fouls on Gavin Hunt. And that's team foul number five. They're gonna to have to foul a couple more times, so they're gonna be able to run a little bit of time. Yep. Clock off. That's only Gavin's foul. first foul, Coach. He's the guy that probably should be fouling. Yeah. All right, cadets are gonna inbound right in front of their bench. Brown looking, looking, looking. And Coach Henniger calls a timeout for the Fort Fry Cadets. So coach, what do you do? Do you attack the basket here if you're Fort Fry or do you try to run some clock? I mean, you're only up one. You got to think about. I think you got to get the ball into your best free throw shooter's hands, which is probably Fogel, Hart, Huffman, and Brown. Uh, you know they're going to foul you. Number one, you got to be strong with the basketball. And uh, the Dragons are going to look for a five-second count or a steal. And if they don't get it immediately, foul. Brown, inbound. He gets it in the backcourt to Fogel, and he's fouled immediately by Gavin Hunt. And that's going to be team foul. Number six. Next one will put the cadets on the bonus. So we're going to try it again. This time a little further from the basket. Brown inbound again. He's looking. He's looking. He gets it in to Fogel. Fogel. And the ball is tipped away by Jordan Williams. Hunt brings it down. <coughs> And Speed calls timeout immediately for the Dragons. Man, what a game. 52-51. Uh, so Dragons are going to have to go for it now. Yeah, I wouldn't well, play for a last shot here. Oh, no, no. You can't. You got to get the first best shot. You know, but it, you have to get a good shot. Absolutely. Just don't rush it. No, I mean, if it goes down the end, 
but that just puts more pressure on you, I think, as a player to have to throw something up there. I think they work and, and look for a good shot. And when you get it, let it fly. Don't be afraid to take the shot. I'd say it'll probably be in Porter or Thomas's hands, though. Well, Clayton's not had a great yeah. night shooting tonight, yeah. so my bet would be Porter. Well, I just noticed that they checked Nate Thacker in the lineup for Jordan Williams, who is probably a much better outside shooter than Williams. Williams is more of a... a uh, I'd like to see Jordan go to the basketball he, when he gets the ball. Right, he's a banger. He's, you know, he's going to get you rebounds and stick backs, things of that nature. Porter brings it up. 33 seconds to go. Porter. Oh, no. That's a bad pass, and it's picked up in there by Brown. Brown gives it off to Fogel. He lays it up and in, and he's fouled on the play. Big, big mistake right there. That foul was on Schmidt, Xander Schmidt. That's, uh, that's his third foul. Team seventh, but it doesn't matter. The bucket went, and Fogel is looking to put the cadets up by four, and it rolls in and out. The Dragons have another chance. 20 seconds to go in the game. Porter brings it down, and he hands it off. No, he's still dribbling out the top. He takes a three, and it's off the back of the rim. Nate Thacker pulls down the rebound and tries to stick it back, and he's fouled on the shot. So it's going to be a two-shot foul for Nate Thacker with 9.3 seconds to go. Do you miss the second one here on purpose, Coach? Nate Thacker. I call timeout after this first one he makes it. It's up and it's good. Uh, I call timeout and tell Jordan him Williams make. checks back in for Xander. Now he checks in for Clayton Thomas. Going defense for offense. 54 52. 9.3 to go in the game. Nate Thacker. Shot is up, and it's good. We got guys all over the floor. Okay, Huffman's gonna check back in for Booker. They're getting all the free throw shooters and all the guards. 9.3 to go. Fogel looking to get it inbounds to Hart. And he's fouled quickly by Porter. And uh, only one second went off the clock here. 8.3 to go. He's trying to extend the game. One to one. Oh, they've still got a shot. You know, he makes them both. They still have a chance. That's true. That's going to put Nick Hark on the line. Uh, Thacker. And Thomas are going to check back in for Jordan, Thomas, and Gavin Hunt. Nick Hart at the line. Shot is up. And it's off the rim. Porter comes out of there with it. He's going hard. And it loses it. But Poulsen jumps on it quickly and calls timeout. So <laughs> I think there's three seconds left. Coach. Uh, coach, if I remember, you were in a position like this once, except I think the ball's at the end. Willie Mills hit a shot for a Mew. Oh, yeah, special. Special, I remember. <laughs> 1.7 seconds left against Rock Hill. You put two guys on the wings. You put your big man underneath, put his head in the basket, and tell him to run up to the top. Threw the ball full court. He caught it, underhanded it to Willie. Willie let it go. <laughs> it was about 10 feet from the basket. And the buzzer went off. 
it hit nothing but the bottom of the well. Place went crazy. I remember Coach Carberry from Rock Hill standing there, both hands out. <laughs> what just happened? I was at that game. I was, I was at that game. No, that was a good night. We worked on that play. Well, I know you every, did. Every pregame we would have that play in, in case that situation arose. But I don't know what we're going to see here because the ball is going to be out of bounds at three-quarter court, about foul line extended. Let's see. Thomas is in. Thacker's in. Schmidt, Polson, and Porter. And see, I don't know who's going to. I guess Porter's going to inbound the ball. Mm. Three seconds. Now let's see what Coach Speed has pulled up here. Throws it in. One. Polson puts it up. It's off the rim. And Fort Fry is going to come away with the victory. 54-53. And a fantastic ball game. Very entertaining. And the cadets are going to run their record to 4-0. And the Dragons are going to fall to three and one. Give me a few seconds. I'll have some numbers All for righty. you. All righty. We're going to take a break right now, and we'll be back with some stats in just a moment. And uh, I want to get some props to our main man upstairs there. Absolutely. Doug Moores. He's the one that puts this thing on and sets us up, and uh, it does a great job. And uh, he edits all these games, and you can get on uh, – YouTube or Facebook, and he'll send you. He does a fantastic job, and we thank him very much for that. But now we're going to go with some uh, post-game stats and my compadre, Dave Carroll. And, of course, these are unofficial because right. I am a geriatric up here, so I'm probably screwed something yeah, up. Yeah, but you're a math teacher. you got to do better. And that's exactly I can't <laughs> add and subtract. I can do trig and pre-cal. Okay, here we go. Uh, tonight for Fort Fry, Nick Hart senior guard, he ended up 13 points. It's a pretty solid game. Uh, Owen Brown, he had four points. Uh, Luke Huffman, he had eight. Uh, the big player for them tonight, Coach, was Kelton Fogel. He was good. Oh, yeah. He was good. A uh, little, little lefty. S several great moves to the basket. He hard to guard. Uh, he had 24 tonight. Uh, Zayden Huck, he had one. Uh, Dawson Layton had two. And Casey Booker had three. So uh, they had a total of uh, 54. And for Fairland, we had a total of 53. Jacob Polson had seven. Aiden Porter led us tonight with 19. Gavin Hunt had seven. Clayton Thomas had six. Jordan Williams had five. Xander Schmidt had a couple threes, had six. And Nate Thacker had three free throws and ended up with three, and that was a total of uh, 53. So good, close game. Uh, outstanding basketball game, but I didn't think the Dragons shot exceptionally well. They usually, you know, Clayton Thomas, six points. He usually has that in the first quarter or, or more. Well, I'm going to uh, tell you what, that's true, but I'm going to give Fort Fry some right. props here. I mean, they play right. good defense on him. They Excellent. know he's a shooter, and they played well. They're a uh, very athletic group that played excellent defense, handled Fairland's pressure. Fairland tried to press him, but they broke it. Attacked the basket, made several dandy moves around the basket, and uh, made a lot of layups. And uh, you know, kudos to Fairland for just getting back in the game. They were down double That's digits. Right. And and, and uh, you know, Coach Fairland played well too. I mean, other than some of the shooting, they well. I mean, played great help defense. I mean, I mentioned that a couple times, but you know, it was a fantastic ball game to watch, and uh, glad we were here to see it. Tim so, Stevens from the Herald Dispatch walking out. Yeah, we got him a shout props. out. He's our man. Okay, that's going to do it from uh, the Carl York Center here at Fairland High School. Hope you uh, enjoyed the ball game. We enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, until next time, good night, everyone. Good night.